The Texas A&M women's basketball team has dealt with their fair share of adversity this season, beginning with the loss of SEC preseason conference player of the year, Kennedy Carter, to an ankle injury on January 9th. It's been very challenging, but what's been more challenging is finding a way to win in the SEC, knowing that this league is so strong top to bottom. When she kind of fell off, it was kind of hard on us, and a lot of people didn't know their roles because because they had to play different roles. But the seven games, Carter was absent, provided an opportunity for the team to adjust and additional minutes for those that may not have seen time otherwise. A lot of people are starting to step up, and our confidence is getting a lot better and we're starting to learn how to play with each other a little bit and learn a lot more about each other than before. Carter returned to action February 13th and was named co-SEC player of the week after averaging 27.5 points in the two games following her return. With or without Carter, the focus for the remaining schedule has been to finish strong, close out games at a competitive conference. We just need to finish um, and that's something that we need to focus on. And we know that we need to keep pushing because we see a lot in us, of course. Find a way to finish. Find a way to finish and just play to our level that we're capable of. We have played a great schedule. The Aggies have won their last four contests, the hard work from practice translating into games. We are trying to play for our top four seeding in the SEC tournament. To do that, we've got to win game seven first. The practice guys have really been making us a lot better. So if we continue to practice as hard as we have been and continue to continue preparing like we have, we're going to be just fine. And that was Jessica Hunt reporting the Aggies host Alabama, who just upset Mississippi State. That game's tonight at 6 o'clock. And then they're at top-ranked South Carolina Sunday at 11 a.m. Good luck to the Aggies. And Mike and Fiona are at... Market. SA Live in Market Square. Hi, guys. How are you? Oh, are you ready for brunchy brunch? Ooh, yes, indeed. Most important meal of the day mm -hmm. is brunch. And Sunday fun day, Saturday un parties. United we brunch. <laughs> and that's not just a phrase, but Chef Nell's uh, Christensen from uh, Ada Claire is here. I declare, pardon me, and we're making the beverage for brunch. Absolutely. Bloody Mary. We'll go ahead and get started. So with the uh, United We Brunch, there's kind of a Bloody Mary contest, right? That's right. Uh, about 10 restaurants are going to be participating. So what's the secret to a good Bloody Mary? Booze. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that kind of goes without saying, though, doesn't it? I, I, I know, right? I like, I like mine to taste like meaty, you know? It's with almost a yeah. meal in itself. Right. With all the stuff. And like you said, the garnish on there. So throw that garnish on there. And we are going to be kicking it up with a fantastic brunch. And again, this is a, uh, it's a fundraiser that you can participate in and dine at coming up. So do you prefer, you know, when you're at brunch, do you prefer Bloody Marys or mimosas? Hmm. Let us know and you may see your answer on the show at SA Live Case on Facebook Or some and people Twitter. would say both. Mm -hmm. How about babies? Oh, Ooh, yes, look oh. at this. Kids kicking it in style this spring. The most adorable fashion from the cutest models, trendy little rebels. And then Elder Eats, and we're going to a place. It is Miss Chickpeas Bake Shop, a vegan place, and oh, that looks delicious. That and a lot more coming up on SA Live, so stick around. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. Right now on KSAT.com, it's almost fiesta season in the Alamo season. The City, rather. The, the Fiesta Oyster, you were excited about this. The Fiesta Oyster Bake has announced this entertainment line that includes several musicians, including the band Blue Oyster Cult. How appropriate is that? Love Take it. a look at the full lineup and see when everyone's performing right now on KSAT.com. We're going to call it right now and say the weather's going to be great. <laughs> oh. Don't jinx it now. Okay. Careful, Does careful. Justin know who Blue Coyster Cult even is? Well, you know, it's funny. Uh, Don't say your parents listen to it. No, a lot of the, a lot of the people my age and younger are going to say they're going to reference the cowbell because that's oh, the Oh, you're school. right. That's how More cowbell. Uh, More cowbell. Okay. All right. Yeah. Checking. The classic the skit. Works, yeah. All yeah. right. More cowbell. More cowbell. Go for it, Justin. <laughs> Go for it. Let's talk about the uh, forecast. 63 degrees today. 70 tomorrow, 74 Saturday. A lot of sun. We'll get more clouds, though, on Sunday. Some chances of rain Monday into Tuesday. Stays pretty warm, though. 70s cross the board there after today. Awesome. Speaking of rocking and rolling.
they rock and roll downtown all the time. That's right. We got SA Live at Market Square. It's about to start, right? Now. Oh, a local restaurant with healthy options just in time for Lent season. We'll take you inside the story behind this vegan hotspot. Plus, kids kicking in style this spring. Oh my goodness, they are adorable, adorable fashions from the cutest models. And no need for meat with this vegan restaurant. David Alder takes us into a local vegan eatery perfect for Lent. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. And here, just some of our cute little models and enjoying this beautiful day. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. <laughs> Wait to see these outfits. They're, you're going to love them as well as the kids. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Thursday. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorostiza. Well, earlier, you know, we put together this, you know, Bloody Mary, right? Which is one of the popular yeah. brunch, you know, drinks. Or okay. is it mimosa? Which do you prefer? Hmm. Bloody Marys or mimosas for brunchy brunch? Let us know at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter. What are you like? We're going to divide the internet. Um, mine is, my, it's all about this. Really? Oh, yes. Bloody well, Mary all the way. I, I think for brunch, I, I would go with the, the mimosa. I can see you with yeah, the mimosa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you talk to like this. Uh, yeah, but again, let us know. And you know, maybe you can tell us uh, what exactly you like on that Bloody Mary as well. Like all the little meaty. goodies mm -hmm, they put yes. on top. So. All right, well, speaking of United We Brunch, joining us today is Chef Nels Christensen with Ida Claire to tell us a little bit about, of course, the event uh, coming up. But we are going to be making this uh, waffle, waffle, first of all. Waffle this Benedict. This is all part of your, your version of Eggs Benedict right there. Absolutely. And the secret to your waffle is... Bacon laced. Puts bacon in the waffle, in the waffle maker. Save Pop the that step. in there I love so it. we can cook. I know. Yes. Bacon on everything. Bacon tastes great on everything, right? Absolutely. Okay, we're gonna cook this baby. That All closes, right. and then turn it. Yeah, go there ahead and turn go. that. All right. Okay, now, I'll tell you what. here, I'll Let's take put this. Let's put our drinks put down. Here. So, we mm -hmm. are making your version of Eggs Benedict, and it is all for the United Brunch. We brunch coming Absolutely up this weekend, is. right? Okay, tell us all about yeah. that. Well, there's about 30 local restaurants uh, participating, putting their best foot forward, and showing off what they have for brunch. Uh, we're gonna do a few items as well. Um, that's going to take place this Saturday. All okay. right, so how do we get started here? Well, let's get this short rib mixture. It's braised out. It has This pickled, goes in the pot? Yep, okay. put it right there in the All pot. Okay. Pickled pot. red peppers, pickled red onions, spinach, and uh, just a really tender braised short rib. It's going to so heat that up. Instead of any sort of uh, bacon or Canadian bacon or something like that, putting in the, that short rib on there. there. Yep, go, this you. is what we decided to oh, go that's with. that's fantastic. And then, obviously, a couple of eggs on top. And instead of an English muffin, we're using the waffle for that, right? Correct, yep. We're going to okay. do that. Okay. So we're just going to let that waffle uh -huh. cook for a second. Uh, let this mixture get hot. We should be good to go. Okay, and one of the uh, dishes here, talk to us a little bit through, because this is the one we're making, right? This is the one we're mm -hmm. making right here. This is the waffle Benedict. Okay. So you can see um, just the nice sunny side up eggs, the hollandaise underneath. Um, and the uh, braised short rib. Okay, and the hollandaise sauce. Okay, mm -hmm. a lot of folks at home, they may not make hollandaise sauce every day. What's the best way to, to take it to the next level? Well, I think uh, the best way to take it to the next level is probably to spice it up with a little hot sauce, mm -hmm. uh, fresh lemon zest, and uh, some cracked black pepper. Now, when I'm looking at your eggs benedict, though, I'm not seeing any hollandaise on there. Where'd Did you, you sneak hide it in? Well, we hide it underneath. We like to put a little uh, dollop right underneath the egg. Uh, kind of just runs down and oozes over the top of everything. And you said that also keeps it warm. Keeps it hot, yep. Which is a great tip because if you are going to serve maybe more than just a couple of people brunch at home, making eggs better or something with hollandaise, because it'll cool off very quickly. But that's yeah. a great little tip. Just get it all in assembly line and get that all on there. So, okay. okay. How oh, much longer? What, what, what is this right here? Yeah. What we have here, this is our uh, Monte Cristo sandwich. Uh, we serve it with our house made jam and uh, house made sweet potato chips as well. Okay, and that's got, uh, how much meat is in that? Thing? There's quite oh a bit. Goodness. We try to, we try to we uh, load it up uh, with baby. the bacon and the ham. Uh, there's a little peppered bacon in there, like I said. <laughs> okay, now back to the United Way Brunch event. Um, about 30 different restaurants are gonna mm -hmm. be there, and then also there's the Bloody Mary competition, right? Yeah, I believe 10 restaurants are gonna be involved with the Bloody Mary uh, competition. Uh, and everybody better bring it, because we have a pretty good one right here. A um, little pepper in there, a little bit of bacon. Yeah, a little chili a spice on the side, side. pickled okra, Hot. peppered bacon. 
Here we go. Yeah, well, let's flip it over. Flip that baby over. Yep. There we let's go. Let's take a, take a look. There Ooh, we go. The go ultimate perfection right of a waffle. That's right. right. So we've got a plate here, and we're going to start building this baby. Can you, uh, now a little bit of this mixture on here? Yeah. All right, go ahead and just put those right on top. Okay, and if you can hand yeah. me the uh, spatula, please, and I'll grab some of these there eggs. There we go. Easy. All right. Okay. And I declare is located where? We're located in the quarry right off uh, Jones Maltzberger Road. Um, 7300 Jones Maltzberger Road, 78209 in the 09 area. You okay. know what? I didn't put the holidays underneath it. Well, you know what? We're Do gonna... you mind if we put it on top? <laughs> We're going to put a little bit on top here. Okay. There we go. And I'm always... a, I am a creature of habit. <laughs> yes. Of course, in United, we brunch benefits Casa, right? Yes, indeed. And there are still tickets available. And again, it is coming up this weekend. It is down there at uh, Sunset Station, the St. Paul Square, pardon me, and all proceeds, like Fiona said, go to Casa. Mm -hmm. It is Saturday from 11 to 3. You must be 21 to get there. And my understanding is there's not a whole lot of tickets mm -hmm. available. So if you want to get there and try out some wonderful brunch items and some uh, great Bloody Marys, head on over. Look at how beautiful and delicious that looks. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Well, it's great to see San Antonians helping out others and raising money with events like, you know, United We Brunch. Yes, indeed. And we have a new series about local people with amazing stories. And Jen Tobias Strusky takes a look behind the food at La Botanica to uh, talk to a real San Antonio. <laughs> the first in the whole state of Texas to have a full restaurant and bar. So we're the you know first time in San Antonio. I think a lot of people would assume maybe Austin or Houston, but so that you know, San Antonio holds the label of having the first vegan restaurant with a full bar. Nachos, tacos, barbacoa, cocktails too. You can get it all here. One catch, this colorful cantina has a vegetarian heavy menu. The food for me is, I mean, it's essential. You know, what you put in your body is so important. You know, it can either heal you or it can hurt you. Um, we have so many memories as like adults and children around, you know, the kitchen and around meals. And so it's something that's so nostalgic and so important to people's cultures and people communing with each other. Rebel Mariposa is much more than a restaurant owner. I've always been like a risk taker. I've always been open to knowing that different opportunities will come um, in different ways. And I, I kind of keep like my prayers and my affirmations general and knowing that the universe will work out the details later. And La Botanica is much more than just an eatery. Um, different events that help nonprofits, as well as, um, you know, drag shows, and we have the Hana Explosion, and so you've got people coming in here dancing cumbias, and, you know, and that doesn't happen really anywhere else on the Strip sometimes, you know, where um, you see young people gathering and still keeping their culture alive um, and mixing with other generations as well. She started off in the vegan catering business. One day, a college buddy asked if she'd like to partner opening a restaurant on the St. Mary's Strip. That's kind of how that happened. And then, I mean, yeah, being able to serve people food and introducing, you know, the, the town to vegan food. I mean, so many people who come here, it's their first time ever eating a vegan dish. And so that is so rewarding um, to just watch people, you know, their like little light bulbs turn on, you know, and it's not just the customers, even staff. <laughs> if you can't tell by now, Rebel is very passionate about her plant-based diet. Uh, colors li literally became more vivid because I was running on such clean fuel. Vegan eating may seem like a new trend, but Rebel tells us it goes way back to our ancestors. The more medicinal you realize they were, the more, you know, our bodies are kind of programmed to digest them. It's easier for it to digest them. It, it really does help to, reach, you know, to, to go back to eating a more simplified plant-based, you know, uh, diet that are like our ancestors were eating as well. And the name La Botanica seems to be quite fitting. We're plant-based and botanicas are about healing and they're about plants like using you know plant medicine my great great grandmother was a curandera here and uh, a midwife here in, in san antonio so it also felt natural to kind of pay homage to that part of, of my lineage um, as well as the mixing of the plants you know so everything here is plant-based inside you'll feel the warmth of rebels upbringing 
Abuelita's photos on the walls, a welcoming gathering spot for local artists who love highlighting the Alamo City. I felt really fulfilled and I still do owning this place because it really does fill so many different cups of mine. You know, from the food to, you know, people enjoying uh, great drinks, um, and then of course, you know, the venue party. And if it's your first time visiting, here's the go-to item. Our the number one selling item is, is our La Botanica nachos, and I think that, I don't know, people just love nachos in this town, right? They're fun to eat, they've got all the different like textures and flavors, and I really enjoy them as well, so I'm not complaining. For Rase Live, I'm Jen Tobias Dresky. That's so mm -hmm. neat to hear everything kind of behind it. Because you just look at a restaurant, you go right. there and you eat right. and enjoy the food, but not knowing the, the story behind it. The story. It. It's like yeah. behind the music, but behind the food. Yeah. <laughs> Great story, Jen. Thank you very much. And that's going to be an ongoing series as well. Yes. Still ahead on SA Live. New do, new you. Where you can get your hair cut, color, and style for a reasonable cost. Next, find the perfect look for your little one with Trendy Little Rebels. They have adorable outfits and costumes for your kids. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, we have the most adorable spring fashion ideas right now with the most adorable models standing by. Yes, indeed. Wait to see these little kids. I mean, they're just <laughs> cute as can be. Yes, you're going to come see Mama in just Don't one worry. second. Joining us today is that little one, Mama, Alexandria <laughs> Kling from Trendy Little Rebels and Great Spring Outfits for Kids. Because everybody with the kids, you know, not the standard little onesies and stuff, but just really fun stuff, right? Yeah, our whole point and our motto is to be different and stand out. And because we're a small shop, it's important that we are completely different from the regular stores that you see, you know. Uh, well, well, this one here is a rebel with a cause right now, this one. Yeah. <laughs> well, tell us about her outfit. Well, okay, so this is our high-low, our spring fashion that we're going to be coming out with. It's perfect for spring. Um, it also has little bummies underneath. <laughs> She's not the happiest right now. That's but okay. She looks really good. Thank you. It also has a scoop back. You want to show them your back? Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> but that's what she's wearing. Come here, Livia. Livia. Come on over. Mm -hmm. All right. Come here. And now these two are, 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 are your twins, right? These are my twins. Mm -hmm. They are two years old. Okay. <laughs> hey, no. <laughs> no, we're seeing we're, that that was a very nice fashion runway walk. Yes, yes indeed. You know? She's prepping come back, for come it. back over here. <laughs> and it just, it's many versions of adult outfits, basically. Yes, right I now. am inspired by adult clothing. You know, I feel like it looks even better when it's on a little mini version. Mm -hmm. uh, Livia is wearing bell sleeves with a tie front and bell bottoms. Bell bottoms are totally in this spring. Um, as we, you can tell, we do have some different prints and bell bottoms that are available right now on our website. Uh, but that is what Livia is wearing. And then we also have baby Abel. Aww. Abel, <laughs> he's spring ready and his little shark outfit. <laughs> Look at that. And so when, when people go to your site, what you kind of kind of walk me through what what are the, how do they pick can they customize yes so what's great about our website and what makes us different from everyone else is that we have over 75 different prints and 10 different styles that anyone can choose okay so if the mom's like oh, i don't want this in a leo she can say oh i can order a t-shirt so she can pick and choose and customize oh, it really? herself yes so so it is almost uh, custom made if you will yes it is custom made we have a 28 business day turnaround everything is made here locally in san antonio texas and yeah, the mom can be the designer herself and design how she wants her daughter. Oh, that's to look. a great idea. We have Clover here. She's wearing our skirted Leo. You want to show me? It? Do a turn. <laughs> Aww. Look at how adorable. And that what's great is. about our skirted Leos is they all, you know, they have bottoms attached, mm -hmm. so it's perfect for little ones when they're playing around. You don't have moms always worry, you know. So she always has shorts underneath. You look beautiful, sweetie. And age range that the clothes are made for from newborn to? Newborn to age seven. Okay. I do take some custom sizes, custom orders for higher sizes. If they do, I email us or email our business page. I am open to it, but mainly on our website, what we have available right now is newborn to age seven. What are the most popular types of clothing? Right now, crop tops okay. seem to be the most popular uh, set right now. This is a, an example of our ombre spring <laughs> crop top. And there's the little pants that go with it. Yes, yeah. yeah, those are bummies that go with the little crop tops. We also have skirted bummies as well. So they have like a little half skirt, so you kind of see a little bit of the boom. 
but it is covered with little shorts underneath. And these are considered delicate, so just hand wash? Yes, hand wash, okay. line, or air dry is best and to keep it lasting longer. Okay. Well, can we get for our final shot, yeah. can we get all of our little models Models's back, back in here? Everybody yeah. gather up and show off those beautiful outfits. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Yes. And for more information, of course, on trendy little rebels, just check out our website and go to the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you, you guys. Thanks for having oh, us. Oh, they're adorable. <laughs> hey, still ahead on SA Live, don't worry about giving up the flavor. Another vegan option in town to make your Lenten season that much easier. And next, change up your hairstyle with Fantastic Sam. See how they can transform your look without breaking the bank. Looking to get a new do before spring break? Fantastic Sam's Cut and Color has you covered. They do haircuts, treatments, styling, facial waxing, and more. And it won't break the bank. Here to show you the truly transformative services they offer is Kim Jordan, Technical Director at TG in partnership with Fantastic Sam's Cut and Color. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Fiona. Thanks yes. for having us. Thank you so much for being here. Tell me a little bit about this partnership. So TG is a global brand and we partner with Fantastic Sounds both in providing them um, hair color and professional hair care as well as education. So you have three models with you today, yes. and the goal is to make them feel like the most fantastic versions of themselves, right? Yeah, because when you look good, you feel good, right? That's right. <laughs> so that's the point. All right, so tell us a little bit about our first model. Okay, so Stacy is our first model, and if you look at this, you see a lot of the warmth that's in there, and if you compare that to her skin tone, it's not the most complimentary. So it was multifaceted, the concepts with Stacy. She's a professional, and she wanted to keep something that's a professional look, but going through and then um, just kind of tweaking that out to match her skin tone. Give it a little bit of sass. A little sass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and here is the big reveal with Stacy. <gasps> oh my goodness. You, you, it's a little bit of sass, right? It is a lot it's of sass. So much more complimentary. Tell us what, what techniques you used. Right, so going through and using a highlighting and a low lighting technique, what was accomplished was um, she's got a little bit of non pigmented hair growing mm -hmm. in, you know, some gray. And so, in an effort to minimize the maintenance with that, highlighting and low lighting to camouflage that as well as creating some movement and dimension inside of her hair color. Okay, she looks fantastic. Doesn't she look beautiful? Okay. Now for our second model, here is the before photo. Okay. Tell us what she was looking to change. So with Carla, if you see in the picture, she was she's wearing basically what was known as the ombre and going through and talking about with customized color techniques and moving towards some of those trend words such as an ombre or whatever bringing the highlights up closer to around her face, bringing some depth down to the bottom to give it a little more strength. And that allows her to have, you know, this fun, playful look, but yet she is also professional. She's a mom to a, a young toddler, so she's a busy lady. So it's something, again, that's low maintenance, but maximum impact. And here is that reveal. And you're absolutely right. Bringing, you know, kind of those uh, highlights <laughs> a little more, you know, even around her face, um, really, really highlights the most beautiful part. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh, Carla, you look fantastic. Okay, so our third model, of course, because Fantastic Sam's Cut and Color is not just for women, it is the preferred men's haircut salon. So here is our before photo. So with Christian, um, he's a high school athlete. You know, he's got a busy lifestyle. So we are, um, he came in and he asked for a tapered fade. And instead of, you know, just looking with the bed head, having a more <laughs> polished look, Controlled chaos is yes. what I like to call it. Um, and just cleaning him up and looking, making him look a little more like a young man instead of Well, a young, like he rolled out of bed. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, and here is the big reveal. And watch out, GQ, boy band hair, here we go. Yes. Yeah, see that nice, clean part that they've got in there, strengthen it up, quaffed over to the side. It just, you know, it enhances his look. It makes him look more mature. And... Um, I think he's quite handsome. Oh, absolutely. Yes, so much better than the bedhead look. This is It's, it's quite the improvement. Very GQ. And you do Very. beard and mustache trims too, Yes, right? beard and mustache trims is um, uh, some of the services. And that's one of the cool things about Fantastic Sam's is the variety of menu services that are options that it's any type of hair, any texture of hair, men, women. And as you see through the, the photo collage here, it's 
anything you want, go in, have a great consultation with a great stylist, and walk out with a fantastic look. And be the most fantastic version of yourself. And you have a guarantee, right? Yes, it's the fantastic guarantee. It's a 100% satisfaction. All right. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, you guys. You look fantastic. Fantastic Sam's Cut and Color is your go-to affordable luxury salon, providing fantastic services every day. There are 15 locations in San Antonio and eight locations in the surrounding area. You can download their app for iPhone and Android. And for more information, just head to their website, fantasticsams.com slash San Antonio. Still ahead, what's your spring look? These makeup trends can help you find your signature style. And next, it's a throwback Thursday today for Elder Eats. Take a look at this incredible vegan bakery right here in San Antonio. <laughs> This isn't your average bake shop. Everything here is 100% vegan. We are 100% vegan and we use mainly organic ingredients in our product. We learned about all of the issues with the animals in the food industry. I just figured, you know, we could make wonderful things without using all of those products. And so when I started experimenting with the things and switching over my recipes, I found out that it was possible and I could make things just as good as any regular treats. Their Pop-Tart treats are next level delicious. This one out, this is a big Pop-Tart. This is a wild berry Pop-Tart. Huh? Mm. Oh, my oh my goodness. It actually tastes like a Pop-Tart. That's really good, y'all. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna take another bite. The bakery also serves up their own take on Oreos. So this is the Fo-Rio. Fo-Rio? fo rio It is a gluten, free vegan Oreo style thing. <laughs> I mean, cause it's big. That's like the size of like a, like a cookie cake or a sandwich or something like that. There we go. Oh, wow. Everything is made from scratch using mainly organic ingredients, focusing on both flavor and presentation. Located right off Callahan Road, right across from Sprouts. You guys gotta come out here. It's delicious. Miss Chickpeas Bake Shop. Everything, everything, I swear. Delicious. You're gonna wanna buy it all, and you're gonna wanna eat it all on the way home. So buy like double because <laughs> you're gonna be taking bites of everything. It's delicious, and you guys are wonderful. Thank you so much for having me out here today. Hey, still ahead, have you thought about what to do for spring break? Find out how you could win a family four pack to a Galveston Island attraction. And next, trendy looks you can learn to do at home. From glitter to bold colors, these are the makeup styles expected to take over in spring. Hey everyone, I'm Scott. And I'm Charlotte. And uh, I'm He's so excited! Simply because the <laughs> piece of hardware we hold in front of us is not just a blender, it's an instant pot. What is it called? Ace, Ace Nova. Nova. It's like a super blender. It dices. It cooks. It slices. It cools. It's amazing. We it sell lives. it at HEB. You gotta go pick one up. They're not all HEBs, but just check your local HEB and they're really, really cool to use. And we're gonna show you how to make a breakfast smoothie using our Mutopia. So yes. what is unique about Mutopia? Love Those Mutopia. that don't know, there's a million milks in the milk So aisle. it is an ultra filtered like it. milk that has 50% less sugar than regular milk and more protein. Yeah, and it's lactose free. So what we're That's gonna awesome. do is we're gonna add a little bit of our Motopia. I always start with right. the liquid in the bottom. Chunks. Some full fat yogurt. Love the full fat okay. Yogurt. We're gonna add some of our frozen avocado. Bitter. Who knew that avocado held up so well in the freezer? We're yeah. gonna add these delicious blueberries. Okay, so this all gets blended. Wait, they got bananas. Yep. Throw the bananas in there. Wait. So all the extra sweetness and ice. Gotta have ice. So if you had frozen bananas, frozen blueberries, and frozen avocados, you do, you could probably minimize the amount of ice okay, you have in there. Okay, click it. You click it, all I hit is smoothie. A minute 30, this is gonna blend itself. It just stops, settles, and then re-blends. This is awesome. For this and other recipes, log on to kset.com slash H-E-B. Welcome back. Well, as spring creeps closer, you might be wondering what looks are expected to come in style. And Christy Phelan from Glam On Demand is here with answers to all your makeup needs. Thank you so much for being here. So spring is coming. 
What's on the radar as far as trends for makeup? Yeah, so there's a lot of fun color this spring. We're looking at bright, bold, neon colors, um, glitter, metallics. For the lips, you're looking for a high shine, a really pretty glossy color, um, even some pastels and some white eyeliner. White eyeliner? Man, yes. Katie, you really are. They're, they're back with a vengeance, aren't they? They're back. <laughs> okay, so our first model here, we are gonna be transitioning from a daytime look to a nighttime look, right? Yes, correct. So our model, Emily here, she already has a really pretty natural look, um, a natural glow. She has the high shine lip gloss. Like I said before, we're gonna be seeing a lot of that this spring. Um, Sin is transitioning her daytime look to an evening look. So we're gonna be doing glitter on the eyes, a pop of glitter. Another option that you can always do as well, again, is uh, just change a lip color. Um, go from that glossy lip to a really pretty bold lip color. So if you're gonna use glitter, what's the best way to use glitter without looking, you know, like you're suddenly going to a rave, you know, in, in college or something? You know? Right, I mean, I would say, you know, using a really good primer, okay. um, sometimes because glitter can actually, what we call fallout, so um, there's, there's gel glitters, there's um, the matte glitters, so just kind of depending on also to like what look you're going for. Um, just so you don't have that fallout. Perfect. Okay. And so, what's one thing if you were, you know, trans? If you're, if you're at the office, you're like, oh my gosh, all right, I didn't know I was going to go, you, you know, meet my friends for some drinks. What's one quick thing you can do to transition from day to evening? So yes, that's a great question. Day to evening, I would say the one thing you can do is just put on a really bold lip color. You know, you're going from that really pretty natural gloss and just pop on a bold lip color and you're ready for dinner. Okay, all right. So our next model here also transitioning from day to evening. Mm -hmm. Yes. So model number two, Mia over here, she came in with a really pretty soft, subtle pinky look. Again, a really pretty look for spring. Um, what Sin is transitioning her um, evening look to is going to be an ombre color on her eyelid. So ombre is fun. She's doing more of like a coral color. I'm just gonna change it up with a little brighter pink. Again, we can create a bold lip color as well just to really make those colors pop and stand out. So if someone is hesitant to really to go bold, um, what's one thing they can accent? You know, you can even do the cheeks as well. A really pretty cheek color. Yeah. Um, it can be bold, but it can still be soft at the right. same time. Yeah, because I think a bold lip sometimes might scare, you know, some 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 folks. You know? Right, exactly. Okay, so you can go with the cheeks. Okay, okay. Um, what's a common mistake uh, some women make? So, I mean, I feel like when you go bold, some will go too bold. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to do a bold eye, bold on the cheeks and bold on the lips. Right. That's going to be a little too much. You know, like a clownish effect. We don't right. want that. Right. We want just pretty. You can still have a really pretty look with a, you know, bold eye. Okay. as well. And you mentioned primers, uh, finishing sprays? Yes, mm -hmm. I mean, it's key really to keeping that makeup on and just really making it last from day to night. Okay, and when applying blush, okay, what is, what's the one thing people might do wrong? Again, I would say, you know, if they're just putting on too much, you really just wanna blend it into the skin mm -hmm. um, and just, just have that really smooth effect mm -hmm. on the cheeks. It's just a really pretty soft look. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. Of course, Christy Phelan with Glam On Demand, talking spring makeup trends. For more information, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Next, an exciting giveaway. Plan a spring break not too far from home with this Moody Gardens Family 4-Pack giveaway. Find out how you can win coming up. <laughs> It's a one-of-a-kind destination on Galveston Island where the whole family can have fun and learn something, too. Moody Gardens is giving away a vacation to the park for two lucky winners this spring break. We're going to tell you more about that in just a couple of moments. But right now, PR coordinator Kevin Aguilar is here. And what a great place to go to for spring break. Family destination. you got something specifically for the kids, right? Yes, absolutely. There's so much to do. Moody Gardens on Galveston Island. And we're kind of kicking off in a very big way March 7th with Jeff Corwin. Ooh. So very exciting stuff. He's a conservationist. He's an Emmy Award TV host. Uh, so we're very excited to have him. And March 7th only, he will be joining us in Moody Gardens. He's got a new film, Expedition Chesapeake. And it's all about Chesapeake Bay. But there's some parallels there with Galveston Bay. So Jeff is going to speak to that. But also, he's going to hang out with us, do some Q&As. And we're sticking him out on our Colonel Padawill boat 
out on Galveston Bay. Oh, really? Yeah, so he'll get to have a meet and greet with guests. There's going to be some grab and go breakfast, and then uh, he'll get to survey Galveston Bay with us. It's going to be really fun. And kids, kids love. Oh, yeah. Also. <laughs> All right, oh, yeah. What other activities do you have? Yeah, so we've got uh, Aquaman in our 4D theater. And if you've never been to our 4D theater, it engages all your senses. So the seats uh, shake, and there's wind mist in there, and you might get splashed on. And it's uh, Aquaman, uh, the one that came out a few years ago with Jason Momoa. Yeah. So everyone, all the ladies are really interested in that. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so very Steady exciting. Girls. Yes, yeah. yes. That poster is getting a lot of attention in our lobby. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, very exciting stuff. And, of course, it wouldn't be Moody Gardens without a visit to the Aquarium Pyramid. So we have the penguins frolicking. We have exotic fish and sharks. And you can actually touch a live jellyfish or a stingray. So oh, really? very educational. Yeah, very educational, but hands-on learning and fun as well. And, of course, there is just something, you know, to, to stay there, too. Because it's, yeah. what, about a three-hour drive from San Antonio? Three, three and a half hours. You might want to get that Bucky stop in there. But, uh, you know, we have the hotel right on property. So you don't want to make that six hour drive back to and from, stay with us. You know, the hotel is right on property, fine dining, casual dining, there's a spa, mom and dad can hit up the swim up pool bar, and of course we have the Moody Gardens Golf Course right next door. Okay, so just about everything, just to have a nice relaxing time. There you go. Right, that's, yeah. that's the, the whole key behind it. That's the goal, you know, on Galveston Island, you're on island time. So, you know, put the phones away, get some fresh air in the lungs, and really enjoy the experience. And island time means there is no specific time, just even when you feel like doing yeah. this. Yeah. yeah so, there you go. And you have a giveaway, too. Yes. We've got a, one grand prize winner is actually going to win a four-pack of attraction tickets, a one-night stay at the hotel, and a round of golf for two. That's a great deal. Yeah. Once again, you can enter to win a family four-pack of tickets to Moody Gardens along with a one-night stay and a round of golf for two at the Moody Gardens Golf Course. Just go to salive.com to enter. And for more information on Moody Gardens, give them a call at 409-744-4673 or visit their website, moodygardens.org. Kevin, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Hey, tomorrow on SA Live, we're going all out for all you leap year babies. Yep, we're building a beautiful four-tiered cake for every year you had to wait for your next birthday. Plus, little critters that love to leap will be in studio. We'll learn about some bouncing baby animals just taking their first jumps. It's a celebration, four years in the making. That's tomorrow at 1 on SA Live. And everyone, this is Giselle Calvillo with Mixed Fit SA, and today we're going to be sharing with you three exercises for your back. All right, everyone, so for our first exercise is going to be the Renegade Row. You can use a kettlebell or a free weight, making sure that your hips are square and that you're exhaling every time you row that weight. We want to make sure that we're level and our hips are aligned with our shoulders, and we do about 10 to 12 reps each side for three to four rounds. We're gonna take it to a double arm bent over row. When doing this exercise, you can utilize, once again, free weights or kettlebells. You wanna take a slight hinge in through the hips, tall through the spine and the top of the head. Exhale as you bring both elbows back. We usually recommend that you take a wide stance just outside of the hips and adjust your weight necessary. 10 to 12 reps at your own pace. Next exercise for your back is going to be a halo. So by grabbing your kettlebell or your free weight from the outside, elbows remain under the wrist. As you rotate the kettlebell or the free weight around your head, you want to be sure not to strain the low back and spine. Be sure to tuck the belly button up and in, tall through the top of the head, and exhale as you rotate. Always bringing the kettlebell or free weight back to the center of your chest and driving around once more. We recommend 10 to 12 rounds to start. The heavier your weight, you can drop those reps. If you're going a little lighter, you can raise those up as well. Oh, it's one of those questions. Mm -hmm. Yes, so at Brunchy Brunch, do you prefer it with a mimosa or a Bloody Mary? We asked the Twitter sphere. <laughs> And they voted, and it looks like Mimosa. Wow. Really? Two to one. Wow. And Eight weights. <laughs> same thing on Facebook. Mimosa takes it. Man, okay, okay, here we go. Brenda, yes, you're on my island. Okay, Bloody Mary, <laughs> yes, they're so good. <laughs> Mimosa's for brunch, as Del Santos, and Bloody Mary's to relax at night. Oh, ho, he's got the whole day kind of planned out there. So 
And you're mm -hmm. you're the Bloody Mary girl, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So cheers. <laughs> okay. The mimosa. And mm -hmm. of course, the event happening, the fundraiser, uh, United We Brunch, Saturday, of course, this weekend, February 29th, 11 to 3. All proceeds go to CASA. Yes, and you must be 21. There's not many tickets left. About 30 different restaurants. Ten of them are going to be participating in the uh, Bloody Mary contest. I'm on it. I'm going to win. Are you, are you <laughs> <I'm good> to, <laughs> oh, no, it's not drinking the Bloody oh. Marys. Oh, making. Sorry. Yeah. But okay. somebody's got to taste them, don't they? Y'all, I'll be there. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's gonna, it's gonna Uber home. Being a taster for them. <laughs> yeah. Man, well, that's why I'd be glad if they had biscuits like this there, because then I could, you know, help sop it up. Yes. Yeah, from I would declare, need that. left these biscuits. Oh my goodness, they are great. And you, by the way, you, you decorate a nice little uh, brunch table there. So thank you. Thank yes. you. Hey, coming up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Normally, it's the last day of the month, but it is not. Mm -hmm. It is the day before Leap Day, and we're going all out because can you imagine only having a birthday once every four years? I know, right? Wow. It's okay. We got a four-tiered mm -hmm. cake though. And little critters that love to leap will be in studio. We learn about some bouncing baby animal, animals, animals, animals. How Another much of that Bloody Mary, Mary have I had? <laughs> okay, taking their first jumps. It's a celebration four years in the making. What did you say? Animals that love animals. to leap? And then what's leap. with the popping of the pea so much? Leap. Little critters that love to leap. Alliteration. Let we'll finish our mimosas and Bloody Marys, <laughs> and we will see I'm you back here tomorrow. <laughs>